Stay on people's me, the superstar as usual. I'm back with a very, 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 arguably the biggest guest I've had on my show. Thanks for coming, CC. I've been on your case. Um, <laughs> everyone will know you, but there's going to be some clowns out there who don't, who, who don't follow soccer. Yeah. Um, actually, no, let me change this. How you been, sir? I've been all right still. How have you been? God is good. I'm happy that you're here to yeah. break bread with me on my show. Definitely. Um, bro, where do we start? What have you been up to? Boy, right now, nowadays I'm a coach. So I'm, uh, they call it the technical academy coach mm. at West Ham. Mm. Enjoying it, inspiring the youth, passing down my knowledge, passing my knowledge down to the youth and uh, making sure they stay out of trouble. Because mm. I got into a lot of trouble, probably as you know, when I was younger. Mm. So I'm trying to give them a heads up and uh, a head start in life. Obviously, my, my viewers know Bro, I don't cut round corners, so don't be me to train when you ask these questions. <laughs> I mean, I want to be comfortable like we're at home. So obviously, football, I'm gonna ask you questions that I wanna ask. When did you make it? In terms of when is it you went cart and you're starting, you're thinking, bro, oh my days, um, made it. Yeah, that was my second game. So I already, um, I already come on the substitute for the first game yeah. um, against, I was playing for Chelsea at the time. These are the days when they had Marcel Desailly, Zola, Hasselbank. All of them. Heidegger Johnson, Frank Lampard, John mm. Terry, mm. Bolo Zenden, Stanich. <laughs> Stanich um, Is that a real guy, Bolo Zenden? Yeah. Jesus. Petit. Oh you know, some World Cup winners yeah, in yeah, there, yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so yeah. like, obviously, it was one of those ones where I was like, okay, nerve-wracking. Mm. So this, the, I came on for Hasselbank the first game against Everton mm. um, at home at Stamford Bridge. And then the second game, we was up at Middlesbrough. Mm. And uh, I think Middlesbrough just got promoted and they had Paul Lintz, I remember. And Paul Lintz just came from, I went there from Manu or something like that. Mm. So I'm thinking, wow, these are big dogs too. So I think um, Hasselbank got injured in the, in, in the warm-up. Mm. And I was on the bench, so then I got the phone, I got the, the call, because like I, I was in the change room and says, oh, you got to go and warm up. So what do you mean? He goes, right, you're starting. I was like, what? Damn. Wait, did you go out the night before? Or? Nah, no, nah, because we'd, we'd flown up the night before, oh, okay. it? So I, was, yeah. I, was, I hadn't gone out and done all the madness that, yeah. that you're supposed to do as yeah, a young yeah. footballer, don't, don't get into trouble. I was, actually, I was just turned 18. Just turned, fresh. Fresh. Just turned 18 and... Um, so he got me, I got on the pitch, mm. bruv, the first 10 minutes I banged the goal straight away in it. For real? So that's when I knew I'd Jeez. arrived. If Instagram was there them times, you're gone. Oh, man. bruv, you are gone. bruv, bruv, I'll be, the, I'll be a gone. Rashford. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. It'd be a Rashford thing right now. Because mm. that was when, um, those days was when uh, Wayne Rooney was busting on the scene as well, mm. same year. So we was both at it together. But then, um, obviously, started playing games and then, you know what I mean? One thing led to another. Start seeing the bright lights in London. You know how it goes. <laughs> kind of pegged me back a little bit still. <laughs> you see the handbrake. Kind of pegged me back a little bit. Because you start seeing a few things that you're not supposed to be seeing at them you know sort what? of ages. And as we were talking about before, yeah. your generation, you guys football, you were proper footballers. Yeah. In terms of like, you know, back in the day, like now we see Range Rovers and that. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, if you saw someone driving a Range, yeah, yeah. bro, you had to be a footballer yeah, or a yeah. rapper or, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you could. Nowadays, anybody, fucking, any old, anyone, you know? You can skate on the lease. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, it's just one of them things that I, I understood what it was and what my responsibility was yeah. later on. But at the time when I was in it, mm. it's very hard when you're young, coming mm. from the estate. I was coming from the estate in Brentford. And um, I had a lot riding on my shoulders. I had to look after my whole family and all them sort of things. So I had bare pressures, mm. but not that I couldn't handle it. It's just that I didn't get the right guidance. Do you mm. know what I mean? So that's why I always try and help the youngers now to deal with that sort of pressure, get some training, help them off the, on and off the field. We've got one youth right now. He's uh, 16. He's, um, he's just been threatened. Do you know what I mean? Just been threatened what, by, by, by someone from another school 
because they're jealous of him because he's a footballer and he's got potential of making it out of the hood. So obviously some people get jealous. Mm. So we're there trying yeah, to help okay. the youngers now, trying to make them put them on the right path. Mm -hmm. And that's what all, that's what we can do as uh, as the elders. Mm. So if he was him, what would you do? Or what have you told him? Well, I've told him just to keep his nose clean, mm. don't get involved, and it's all through Snapchat as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's and a bit harder in a car, bro. He's getting threats through Snapchat. Oh, I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna do it, bro. Like. Who does that? So now he's threat, threat and frightened. I'm his mentor, so I've got to go and try and sort it out with the school. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's just uh, people don't understand words. Can and smash how old is he? Sixteen. He's sixteen. The boy is sixteen. You know what I mean? So and you're gonna go. You're gonna go to the school. Sort it out. Yeah, I wanna go to the school. Like, cause sometimes Bro, they need they need a father not, figure. Not only is the guy gonna leave him alone, that he's gonna be lit that weekend. Yeah, but so yeah. if it, if it takes Jeez. me do if it takes me doing that. Mm. To get him on the straight, to get that person that that's threatening mm. another you, their life. Come on, man! I've got, I've got to be, I've got to step in. So yeah. you say, like, if anyone's in trouble and you can help, you will. Yeah, of course. Well, but I've always been a helper. Well, that's one thing. Not I didn't want to bring it up, but mm. obviously, I told you where I'm from, innit? Yeah. Obviously, right now, you on my show. Mm. It's a life and death situation for me. Mm. Niggas are gonna like they're gonna think I'm going up in the world. Do you think you come and talk to the? Listen, like be my mentor, cause of course I'll come and talk to yeah. anyone. Listen, if if I can help in any way, thank you, sir. It's the best. It's the best feeling in the world. Like, cause at the end of the day, you gotta look at it like this. I looked at it that like, I had my uncle. Mm. So my uncle showed me from right, right from wrong. What about unks? Unks. What unks? Which one? My unks. Yeah. He's a Sierra Leone right now. Oh. He's in Sierra Leone, he's not about right now, but he's my, he's my G. But he showed me the right from wrong, mm. so he showed me that don't do that, don't do this. But so at the same time, you must learn and you must get burned, you understand? Because you know us, us young boys, when we were coming up, mm. there's certain things that you didn't listen to and then you went and got burned later on down the line, you thought, oh, that's why he said that. Mm. So I'm going to try and do the same thing, not all these kids are going to listen to me, no, because ninety nine percent will. There was so, yeah, there were certain situations. You know what I mean. But hopefully, I can get the right message out there mm. to, for them to just like come out of that that space, that mm. headspace. Mm. All they're doing, you, you, you're talking about knife crime, and you and you're, you're trying to go and act on that, and you just you don't mind going and sitting behind the bars. Come on, man. This life is so beautiful. It's a waste, bro. Honestly, yeah, man. it's a waste. But only sometimes I think the only way you can resolve these things. Obviously, everybody wants money, mm -hmm. but I think the government. Cause I saw, luckily I have a few elders around me that showed yeah. me life and yeah. bro, they need to get like someone who's got, you know, comfortable in life. Yeah. Just take them for like a weekend. Yeah, yeah, Let careful. them see things. Yeah. Bro, I swear that would change you. It would change your whole perception. You'd be like, bro. Yeah, like Idris Elba. Mm. He's doing his like, little campaign now. Mm. I've done a few things with Idris actually. I've done the Ebola, fighting Ebola thing. Cause he's from Sierra Leone too. Salombo, bro. Yeah, that's Salombo, bro. Are you? You're not Salon Bobo. For today, I am. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I was about to, I was about to hug you for that. Like, yeah, my boys are coming up. It's strong. But no, nah, to be fair, yeah, like, obviously you've got Idris is doing his thing. He's trying to do the knife crime thing as well. Yeah. But if we all come together, mm. all the old heads, yeah, yeah. I'd say the old heads, mm. and try and make an impact and go to schools and mm. make, do speeches, do more than what we're doing right now, we'll, we're not doing anything at the moment. All we're doing is going on Instagram and saying, don't do that, don't do this. Well, You've got to be on the roads, bruv. You've got to be on the streets. Has, You've got, people to. have to see you and feel you yeah, 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 for yeah. them to listen to you. 100%. Do you know what I mean? All this Instagram talk, taking pictures of, nah, nah it's all long. You need to go there and see what I'm going. See, like, you take me to your people and say, listen, this is Carlton Cole. This no, is that and the other. Do you know what that. I mean? They know you are. Yeah, but still, at the same time, sometimes some of these youths don't follow football. Do you no, know what I mean? They know who you are, trust me. But, you got to understand that like, I've got to make sure that I, that I can see them. I'm within touching distance mm -hmm. to tell them what's right from wrong and trying to help them through it. Say, so, listen, I've got a number for you to call. I've got this guy here that will help you through what your situation is. Put the knives down, man. Do you know what I mean? And that, that, I'm not saying this is the, about the interview today, but mm -hmm. it's a big part of the culture of what we I'm you know, know about wages. So say, for example, we had Peter. Peter was earning 30 grand a week. Yeah. So let's say today's Monday. Yeah. Peter gets paid Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Peter goes out and just buys that piano, it's £10. Mm -hmm. Doesn't spend it. Yeah. 
Next Monday, does he get that 30 grand again? Yeah. No, 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 no. It's monthly. So, footballers get paid monthly. You get 12 at the end. So, if he's on 30 and grand a month, week, yeah, 12. Yeah, yeah, you get, you get, you get 120 grand. No, you don't get 120 grand. You've got a tax. minus the tax, which is half. Mm. So, you get 60 grand, 70 grand, 60, 70 grand. To go and play about. Nah, but you've got responsibilities. You've got a no, yard to play for. Yeah. You've, got, you've got savings that you've got to save. But depending on who you are, there's some players, they, if they're earning 30 grand a week, they're still spending 30 grand a week, mm -hmm. yeah? And they're not even calculating the tax that they have to pay, so they're in debt at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you hear it, bro? It's mad. So don't get gassed on the 30 grand a week. It ain't 30 grand, G, it's 15. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So that's what's going on. So them times, obviously, when he was young and spring and whatever, yeah. he used to go out and they say, oh my baby, you know these girls, fucking hell, he's nice, chocolate, <laughs> seven foot, he's got muscles ripping out of his shirt. And obviously, and they didn't know who you are, they come up to you. Mm. So, so what, what do you do? What do you used to say? I was gas, bro. I was like, I'm a footballer, didn't Come on. Uh, my guy. Come on. Straight bro. up. Yeah, why not? Because that's what I am. I'm lie to when you. they say, oh, you're lying. Google Lions. bits. Google ah, bits. I wasn't even like, look, I wasn't really one of those ones. I think everyone knew who I was anyway, because mm. I, I was playing for Chelsea. Come on. Do you know what I mean? True, true, true. true. And I was on the uh, England, and this cusp of the England mm. team. So everyone knew mm. as soon as I landed, mm. that's what it was. Whoever did follow football back then, and the places that we used to go to, mm. that's what was attracting mm. You get girls like you go to what Funky Buddha, yeah, yeah, yeah. go to um, the old China White, mm -hmm. not the Libertine, yeah, the old China White. We have to go downstairs. Mm -hmm. So that you had these little gas that footballers and like pop stars and page three models. The funny thing is, Steve, he's the first time I used to hear the shit in the music. The first time it was his birthday, he took me to old China White. The old China White, yeah, yeah, downstairs. Was it Funky Buddha or is it next to Elysium? Oh, the one just across the road. Oh, that's Funky Buddha. Funky Buddha. That's Went funny. downstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. You go upstairs and Funky I can't Buddha. Remember. Yeah, yeah, you go upstairs and Funky Buddha. No, it's downstairs. Downstairs. No, you go upstairs and Funky oh. Buddha. Trust anyway, me, I know this. I ain't gonna argue. Oh, actually, actually, downstairs. It is downstairs. Downstairs, but I ain't gonna argue with you. It's downstairs. I got it mixed up. Yeah, and the toilets are just yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, downstairs. Yeah. They went there. Went straight back to the VIP. No, who I was talking about next door. Sorry. Went straight to the VIP and they brought us like. Wings while we're partying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, this is bear in mind, this is probably like seven, eight years ago. Mm. I'm like, what the f bro, yeah. this is a different lifestyle. Yeah. After that night, I went straight back to where I live, which was quiet. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna get out there, man. <laughs> it's quiet, bro. It's quiet. This is what I'm saying, like, for me, I used to live, I used to have a, a, a yard in Central. Mm. I used to have a yard in, well, I still got my yard in Canary Wharf. Oh, hello. But I rent it out. I, I'm smart now. I just used to have it vacant, bruv, just for my parties. <laughs> you know what I mean? When yeah. I was younger. So, like, now, obviously, man grows up in it <laughs> and he start using it for the rent, mm. for, the, for your investment and yeah, make yeah, the investment yeah. come in. But at the same time, <gasps> like, you do get, you, it's easy to get caught up in the lifestyle if you're living in London. Mm. So, you said you just you went and saw the lifestyle a little bit and then you yeah. went home and it was quiet. Woo. Brother, it was never quiet for men like me, bro. Like, mm. We'll have like parties afterwards and like, doing the wrong things mm -hmm. that you're not supposed to have. Like, no, but like, you not say you have to go. You have to live you gotta your go life through it. it. You gotta go through it. And that's Everybody, why. This is what I, I think. Everyone's too sensitive nowadays in mm. terms of. Oh, he said you're gay. Oh, he said you're black. Mm. Oh, like, bro. At the end of the day, why is everyone's behind their doors? We're all saying these words. We're all, bro. It's like. It yeah. was like, oh my days, Carlton, freaking name was dinner. Bro, you'd yeah. have done the same thing yourself. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Pack it yeah, in, man. Yeah, I, saw, I saw Carlton, yeah, he was so drunk, bro. Like, you oh, do the same thing. But listen, you do at the same day, thing. You get to a certain, so I got to about 24, yeah. 25. So I've been doing the wrong shit up to then. Mm. <laughs> and then um, it just got to a point where I was like, I had enough, really. Mm. I was like, I looked at myself, I thought, let me just take six, seven months out of this party lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> just, um, let me just like make sure that all of this has not been in vain, innit? Mm. So I said to, um, what did I say? I said to my cousin at the time, I said, listen, I'm just gonna just chill out for the next six, seven months, mm. see what I get to. That six, seven months turned into one year. That one year turned into two years. Mm. All that time I had climbed up and I started playing for England. Cause I had the mm. quality, mm. do you know what I mean? 
So you get to a point where you think, do you know what? I've got to take my life seriously because now I'm playing for England. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, now I'm the boss. <laughs> now I'm doing my thing now. Mm-hmm. I'm rubbing shoulders with David Beckham, Rio Ferdinand. You know what I mean? All the- Can I pause you? Now, yeah. as we had this conversation earlier, bro, these new guys, I've never been a footballer, so, but from what I've seen, the public, all these new, so I know a couple of footballer friends, they think they're doing bits because they've got a little bit of drip. But you guys, you guys, the originals, you lot live the life. Yeah, like, as I said, I told you before. Yeah, you when you come out, when you come out a nightclub, when you come out a nightclub, you're basically, um, you come out, you're bare paparazzi straight away. Like, you can't even move, like, go left or right. We have to try and sneak out the club because we don't want the paparazzi. Yeah. I don't know what it's like up north for them boys there for, like, Man United and all that, but mm. when you come to London... Oh, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. You know what I mean? It's dead. Any footballer can come out the, the club oh, it's dead, it's dead. and no one even cares. It's dead, it's dead, Do you know what it's I mean? Dead, I've seen footballers come out the club and they're, like, they're, they're basically drunk, mash up. Mm. And if we'd done that back in the day, we would have been slaughtered because mm. we'd have been all on the floor like that, on the pavement, mm. all up in the newspaper the next day. Come on, man, it's not a good look. Uh, you don't like proper live life in terms of... But we were like the rock stars. Yeah, we was rock stars. Them times, living. but yeah, now yeah. it's changed because everything's a bit fast, everyone's yeah. on football. But do you think Instagram, when you see them boys... Like Instagram changed it, innit? Instagram you see when you see, like, you see boys writing a bio, bio footballer and they're like freaking... <laughs> I don't know, no disrespect. Ryman one, you know what Ryman one is? Yeah, and all that shit. They like yeah, football. but they are. They're footballers today. Ah, bro, stop that. They got the, stop listen. That, stop that, stop they're all up in their own level, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> they're stop in that, their stop own that. world, bro. But one person said, "No need ballers are the most big time what wooden pro." It's true. What? I don't know that. Mm. Bro, right now these days you can't tell the difference between a non league baller and a pro. Mm. If you well, go, listen. if you go in the club now, yeah, tatted, everyone looks the same. Yeah, it's a, it's a cliche, it's like everyone's the same, but at the same time, you've got to understand this, yeah? Mm. Football's for everyone. Do you understand? Football's for everyone. Depending on what... It doesn't matter if you're big time, it's just in your DNA if you're big time. You're going to be big time if you're just on the road as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So being a footballer is not one of those things that someone can claim and say, you're not a footballer or you are a footballer. You are a footballer if you feel like a footballer. It's a feeling as well, so you've got to know how to move. And then there's an account as well. Let's not forget that. <laughs> let's, let's, that's the big... Let's not forget that. Because if football ain't paying, no one ain't saying I'm a footballer, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I understand that, I understand that. But, yeah, it's been... Look, it's been an emotional journey. Mm. But I've still got a lot to give to the game. Come on. Um, obviously, I've got... Why did you even retire? I've got bad knees, bro. Like, you mm. can play in the conference. I could, yeah, but... Bro, I'd rather... I'm, <laughs> no, I'm not saying that, but I'm just, no, I'd no. rather, like, not... Because I love the game, don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you play at a certain level in your life... No, of course, of course, of course. Like, course. to go and get run ragged yeah, by yeah. some youth man. <laughs> by some youth man and thinking, rah, I really used to be something. Yeah. I just want to memorise my, my, my playing days mm. in a good light. Not at the end of it when man were just mm. beating me up. I couldn't get past them, I couldn't score a goal. Mm. Because I weren't quick enough or nimble enough. I don't, I don't ever go through that feeling because I hear a lot of footballers go through it mm. and they're doing it just because for, they love the game. Mm. I don't love the game that much, bruv, to be going and someone that's going to disrespect me like that. I'm too yeah, proud, yeah, bruv. Yeah, I'm too yeah, proud. Yeah. So. No, of course, of course. I'll just leave and it. And everyone come at you because he... he yeah, yeah, they'll always come at me as well. They'll be two-footing me. Mm. They'll be saying, ah, oh, I had cotton cold in his pocket. In my mm. pocket the other day, look, yeah, he ain't, no, he ain't even that good. Bruv, I'll just leave so, it. See, as a sort of back in the days, you used to hear stories of girls lying, oh yeah, can't and nah. people used to lie, oh yeah, it's my cousin. Like, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> I don't even know, like we spoke once that like, bro. Yeah. Or your mum might have spoken to their mum once and, oh, yeah. Yeah. and said, oh yeah, can't cause my cousin. Do you hear any stories or oh, you always hear those stories? Like, I've got bare cousins out there that I've never talked to or seen or Canel. led eye on before, but Canel, bro. It's not even that though, like at the end of the day, it is what it is, isn't it? Mm. With fame comes um, mm. claim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With fame comes claim. So you just got to look at it as a blessing, bro. At least mm. someone wants to claim me. Mm. You know what I mean? So obviously I'm, um, I've been at Chelsea from when I was young. So everyone was doing it then. Then I went to West Ham, mm. doing it there. Everyone wants to So oh yeah, yeah Carlton, that's my cousin. Trying to, <laughs> bro, I've got people I'd like, because I used to like know the bouncers of nightclubs and all that. Mm. They used to phone me and say, Carlton, do you know um, such oh, and such? Oh shit, you're like, lying. I'd be like, I'm in bed, blood. I'd be like, oh, no. You're 
lying. I don't really know that. Oh, because they're outside the club right now, saying they're using your name. Can I, should I let them in? What do I do? I look like the manager of the club or something, blood, like. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want to deter me. So I said, like, we can't go in because I don't know who it is, mm. and I don't want him to go and dirty up my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when I want to come, because if we maybe had a fight in the club, then I'm bad from the class. And that, nah, stop that. Mm. <laughs> Nothing to do with me, bro. Mm. Like, let's crack on. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> when was the last time you went to a club and proper shut it down? You had to just, just to prove a point. Nah, I never have to. I don't have to prove nothing, bro. Like. You know My what it is? God, you know it is? There's no need to be proving anything. I'm 35 now, bro. Mm. If I'm doing that at 35, just going to shut down a club at 35, you'd look at me mad, innit? Mm. So what are you doing, Coley? Like, leave it for the youngest, man. Let them, let them enjoy, man. So is that what they used to call you, Coley? Yeah, Coley, man. Like, let, them, let, them, let the youngers enjoy because at the end of the day, I've been through it, I've done it. Mm. They have to have their taste as well. But if you keep on doing it, there's something wrong with you, bro. Mm. Like, you've got to grow out of it someday, innit? But at the end of the day, like it's my brother. My brother's like 21, 22. He's lucky. You know, he's I'll lucky. He's got all these footballer friends as well that he hangs out with. He's a, he's a coach now because he wanted to do the footballer thing. Mm. But he didn't quite make it to the level that he should have because he was lazy. Mm. I kind of spoiled him on that, to be fair. Cause I, he's he, lucky, bro. He never wants for anything. Do you know what I mean? I can, so, sometimes I think to myself, why couldn't my mum... I never even said what I'm going <laughs> But like he's alright, he's alright, man, he's alright. So but I've just gotta try and he's just lazy, bro. You know when you got you've got everything, he's got all the crepes, he's got all the lubes, he's got all the easy, he's got everything, he's got all the clubber, do you know what I mean? But he just well you ain't got when you now nah, I'm telling him, go and earn. Go and do your thing, innit? Cause at the end of the day you don't wanna just say, Oh, that's Carl's little brother, you wanna have your own name, innit? So that's what he's working on now, so I'm happy for him. So we're like you know like when you was in England, you look was in England and uh, mm. What did you like to just do, like to have fun? Well, any when was, in, was in England camp? Yeah, any mad oh, okay. stories? Okay, so one time, man, I've got a funny story actually. Yeah. Like, obviously, there was, who was in the room? There was Wayne Rooney, Wayne Bridge, um, Ashley Cole, Shawrat Phillips, mm. and who was uh, someone else in there? Someone else was in there, mm. I think maybe Gary Cahill or something like mm. that, yeah? I can know, Gary Gay's been about for a minute, isn't it, that one? Yeah, it's been about. I played with him at Villa when I was on loan there as well. Oh, shit. But anyway, so anyway, it was like, I was like, okay, mm. these lot do this snooze thing. Do you know what snooze is? Snooze has been around for that long? Yeah, from them, oh, man, they're, everyone, the, they're the ones that showed me about snooze. And well, this everyone's was, jumping on it now, bro. Bro, this was like, what, what's the, what was it? What, this was like 2012. For real? Yeah, this was like 2011, 2012, yeah? Because that was, I think it was the World Cup squad going into the World Cup and I just when I just got injured. Mm. I think it was anyway. It must have been 2012. When was the World Cup? 2012? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was. So anyway, so I just got, I, I had this snooze, right? I was thinking, rah. I started feeling my head go, like, so they said, oh, you just got to leave in your lip there. Yeah. So I, rah, I was like, I started to feel dizzy. So I got up now. And it was, everyone was just watching me see how I'd react because my first ever time, mm. bruv, I collapsed on the floor. Shut up. I was like, oh boy, you need to help me, you need to help me, <laughs> yeah? It was like, look was how you, big wait, this you is, Was you not out? Bruv, I was finished, yeah. Okay, was you out in the club or something? No, no, we was in the, we was in the, um, the room. Like, we were, like obviously we've got, mm. um, we just finished training, England camp. Mm. Just finished training. Okay, and then them man, let's go straight and do snooze, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I'd done mine for the first time, so I thought, oh, I'm getting with the boys, yeah, it? Yeah, that's yeah, what they all do it together, they all put the thing in, put it in, like that, and then start, start chilling out like that. So I tried it once, bruv, bruv, I was on the floor. I said, oh, my stomach, oh, I yeah, need to have yeah, a yeah. shit, I'm gonna puke. Yeah, oh, yeah. mate, I was in bits. The whole room was just laughing, bruv. I was like, yeah, you like Nah, that thing's it. powerful. Cause the first time I took it, one of my boys, shout out Mario, place a barnet. Mm. Oh yeah, take it, take it. Oh, let me take this thing quickly. It was an Oceana, this was like years ago. Yeah. Bro, I put the thing in here. I was in the Barcelona, that's a hip hop room. Yeah. Hold on. I slept on the floor for 45 minutes. <laughs> I slept on the floor for 45 minutes. Bro, I was bro. gone. Bro, you see, after that, even if I smell it, yeah, 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 yeah. sick. Because it's a minty sort of smell. Oh, bro, I feel me. so sick. It smells, like, it smells like dead pussy to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, it smells like bad pussy to me, serious. And that smells. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, so what I do now, yeah, I just like, as soon as I smell it, I'll skeet, bro. I'm out of there because I, I don't want that feeling again. Bro, mm. I had a bad time, mm. really bad time. And then, um, 
Wow, there's not. Listen, there's loads of stories I can say. Mm-hmm. But so I need con- I need consent. Con- yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so what do they used to call Jermaine the folder? JD. JD, yeah, JD's JD, man. And Wayne Rooney's Wazza. Yeah, Wayne Wayne, Wayne Rooney's Wazza. You got Sean SWP. Come on. So what, if you want, yo SWP, you can't say that if it's possible. Yes. Nah, you say Sean, but uh, when you talk to it, yes, SWP, that's code word, it's code words or something. Yeah, we have amongst yeah. ourselves. And then um, but, uh, John Terry, JT. You know what I mean? Normal. Who's the hardest player you've ever played against? Um, hardest player is Vidic, probably. Tough. Bro, Serbian, he's, he's Serbian, from, bro. He's from Ghana, really. <laughs> he might as well be, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're bad there, bro. Ooh. Tough. Bro, they're Serbs, bro. They're, they're, diff- they're, they're made out of different material. I don't even know what they're made out of. God bless him, bro. But um, he was a tough cookie. Who's the fastest? Then, as a. Ooh, uh, and Sean, who's faster? Ooh. I'd say, do you know what? Fastest player, probably Phil Walcott, man. Yeah. Yeah, he was in my squad as well. So Phil Walcott is probably the fastest I've played with. He ain't got the ratings in the streets, man. I know, but he's, he's got, you've got to look at it. He's got, Walcott is probably definitely. Up there with the speed though. Mm. You gotta go with that. Oh, <laughs> what no, else? I'm trying to get some groupies. Best player. Best player? Yeah. Um I'd say. Best player, Gerard. For real? Yeah, Gerard. Bro. Come on man. He carried the whole of Liverpool team, bro. Mm. And then you got I love Frank Lampard as well. Lamps. Lamps is a player. Mm. Zola is the best player all in all though. I play. I never played with the Canyon. I played with the Canyon, mm. Zola. So Zola, ability-wise, the best player ever. Like it's up there for like some of the best in the world ever. Who who, who had your you had your starstruck? Starstruck. No, I've never been starstruck. Never. No. Come on, surely you want starstruck. Yeah. Oh, you're a big, you're a big cold here, anyway. No, I right, I tell you, who I had starstruck, and then I got to know him properly, like Fifty Cent. Oh, for real? Yeah, then um, Kuzma, the manager I had before that was managing me, this is manager now, isn't it? Oh. So that was the connection. So whenever I, people used to see 50 years in town, I was there with him. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So that's why when we was all around the old group, he thing, and then I just saw the amount of stuff I saw, bro. Now you've yeah. seen some things. I wish I could have had your imagination or any of you guys. Yeah, but times. I don't see it as a, that. I just feel that it's one of them things that I was meant to see it anyway. You know what I mean? But some of the I think fo- there's fame and there's fame. And you've been at the fame. Nah, 50's got fame. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, You know, they've got yeah. G-Unit fame. I went to their video shoot. I saw, I saw like, the gang that they had in the video shoot. Oh, oh my God. That's a couple of people baby ones right Bro, now. it was mad. You're probably flicking them away. Move, man. It was mad, so. Like, what about groupies? They must, you must have seen some groupies like, you're, you're mad thirsty, man. I know it, man. You see that all the time though. Like, like, mad, they do the maddest thing. They're everywhere. Like, Come to your hotel room. As soon as you've got a table, bro. And they find your hotel room. Ah, when I was away of England one time, yes. when the lifestyle actually calms down, you'll start to see a bit of clarity. Mm. And you see, see what's real. So you start to see like, okay, the footballers, there's, football, there's footballers out in, um, in Africa. So he's obviously trying to do a little business. He's got a little, he must have something over here. So he wants to send them over to Europe. Mm. Make, can make money for footballers, especially in Africa. There's so much talent out there. So mm. that's what the last time you went in Africa? Ah, oh, five years. I went to, I went to see They must have sucked your skin off you, boy. Nah, man. Yeah. What? I went, when I, went, I, went, I go there with the army though, isn't it? So I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to have the army with you, bro. You got to have the army. My dad, my, and then you go to, when I went to Nigeria, I went with Kanu. Wanku Kanu and Kocha because they were naming a stadium, mm. stadium after him oh, yeah. in Wari. So they man invited me to play. Mm. Bro, it was like monsoon rain, bro. Like, I said, oh, man can't play in that. Mm. Like, we ended up all playing. There was loads of celebrities there. And um, that was my first time in Lagos. It was mad still. He's got his own bar there. Mm. Yeah, Akocha's killing it. So, what, would you, right now, would you just play like charity games? Or? Yeah, so I do charity games. In the summer, I've got a few things like, lined up. A few, few things lined up, so I do a few of those. Um, I'm going away with the youth team, West Ham. Mm. In the summer, going to Bermuda. Mm. So, bro, yeah, man's traveling, man. And I'm, I've got to go to set up my academy out in um, New York. Mm. And one in um, one in Sacramento. 
So, so you're not you're not just not doing nothing. You're, you're busy. Oh, I'm very bro. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've actually been more busy than than when I was playing. Because you don't do nothing when you're playing. You go you, you go you play. You finish at one. You finish at one. You go home sleep. What do you usually do? Just sleep. Yeah, I used to go. I used to definitely have my, my afternoon naps. Mm. I love my afternoon naps. And then after that, I'd go probably shopping. Like it's boring, it's such a boring lifestyle. Mm. Like now I'm doing loads of bits and bobs, keeping busy, yeah. meeting you, meeting people that maybe process, process, that I've never been around before. Just because let's I'm, be honest, my eyes are open, man. Them days there, I would never have been able to get you. Them days there, you know, I'd have to jump Tower Bridge. Like, I wouldn't even say that. No, nah, bro, come on. When you, you guys was yeah, no chance. Mm. You gotta be this morning. My head is. So obviously. There's one girl here from, mm. I keep saying it, she's from West London. Mm. Bro, I used to love, because I'm from South, I used to love driving to West London. She, I'm like, babe, I'm on my way. Beautiful. <laughs> but her body is like, you no know, lamb shank. Yeah, yeah. When the meat, <laughs> said lamb shank. You know when the meat just falls off it? Yeah, oh, yeah, the meat. Yeah, yeah. Tender. <laughs> what is it? Lamb shank in that. Bro, tender, <laughs> soft. Oh, but yeah. I just do this. Yeah, and just, yeah. just, the ripples. Oh. God bless her. Yeah. Bro, anyway, she broke up with an ex of a long time. Yeah. Nice bro. She lived right outside QPR. Oh, is it? Right outside. Okay. So sometimes I used to tear the shit out of her. Yeah. And they're playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear the crowd. Bro, like, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> bro now she's just. Oh, they're cheering you street. on. They're like, they're cheering you on. Hey. Bro. <laughs> and I was getting the big boys. I used to park her right outside her house. The neighbors right. used to come out and look. <laughs> and the ex came and infiltrated. Oh, uh, so he came in. And she texted me. Oh, I think we should stop talking. Yeah. She didn't even ask. What about? Do you think we should? She didn't even ask what I thought. Yeah. Oh, it broke my heart. That's mad. Still. It broke my heart. That's mad. How can I get back? You want some advice? Yeah. Well, I miss her, bro. I told you right now. I mean, you know what? It depends. It depends what sort of um, girl she is. What sort of girl she is she? A good girl. She a good girl. So, are you a bad boy? What do you mean bad? You got a few things on the go. Got a few. I'm single. Yeah, but what is your reputation like when you ah. when you wasn't single? Were you a I've one? Been, I, you a I've one? only had one girlfriend in my life. And that was the only one. No, that wasn't her. Okay. No. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, she's looking at it as like, okay, he's been a bad. No, she don't know nothing never, about me. Oh, so she doesn't know nothing no, about. No, when I girls, I don't tell them I do none of this. Well, then you've not, you've not, you've not taken out on dates enough. What was it? Just going around her yard and she was cooking for you and doing all them sort no, of I mean, things. No, I mean that. We used to just clutch in the room. Right? And that was it. So, what do you think? Probably the other guy showed her a bit of a lifestyle, innit? Nah, he's, she, she'd been with him for a minute. Okay then. And she just broke up. And now I skipped. Well then, I think she's gone back to a minute. Good luck, man. Well. The only advice I've got for you is just try your luck again, see what she says. And if she says, oh. I think I'm blocked. She blocked you? Oh, allow it then, Vlad. Vlad, <laughs> <laughs> that's what. <laughs> you need to leave that one alone then, did it? Because that was. Hey. You want to be coming across like Stalky Steve, man. Hey, bro. Why should I leave it alone, <laughs> Leave bro. that one alone, bro. She don't want to know, she don't want to know. But usually, if they're on to you, then yeah. you'll know about it. Hey, listen, brother, thank you so much, man. Yes, bro. Appreciate it. Yes, uh, what's next for you, anyway? Well, as I said, yeah. we got to link up because yeah. we got to do some mentoring. Me, like, Just as I said, scenes, we got, really? we, yeah, so we got to um, do what we're doing because I want to really get this uh, knife crime up on the way. Mm. I want to start helping these youths, man, because they need it, bro, because mm. you got to understand, I've got, I got two boys and I, I, can, I can dread to think that someone's jealous of them and just wants to come and hurt them mm -hmm. over some jealousy and these boys ain't scared to use a knife man. It's crazy. Man. so i want to protect my kids not just yeah, like yeah, yeah. other people's but my kids need to be priority for me obviously so i just need to know that my, my when my sons go out there they're safe so i need to do something because we're the generation that has to do something about it bro because we that's what i said on my instagram post today i said we've got kids out here having kids not treating, not, not, do you know what I mean? We've got kids having kids and not showing the youngers the right way because they're still growing up. Do you understand? So I've had to grow up fast in the media eye and I've had to turn a blind eye to certain things, but I can't turn a blind eye to this one. This one's mad.
because I'm seeing like one of my cousins got stabbed mm. and um, like he's lucky he got away with it but mm. bro like come on man this guy's 16 years old bro <laughs> you understand so it's a big thing that we have to start as olders yeah. we've got to try and help mm. as much as we can if we have to go and talk to schools talk to schools if we've got to go and talk to um, you know like those little um, groups they have and you have a group discussion we don't go and do that man. It's, it's a minor and it's, the more footballers we can get to do it mm. the better so more I'm gonna, I'm gonna people, be. Yeah, the so that's, guys, that's probably these... that's probably something me and you could go and do. We could go I, and talk. We can, we can go out to Manchester, go and talk to Rashford, go and talk to them man there. Bro, let's go yeah. now. I'm ready. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, that's no, no, these are the sort of things that yeah, yeah. No, it helps. Can do. It helps. Football is more than these actors because we're more. Yeah, no, we're yeah, more yeah, people yeah, looking yeah, up to man. Yeah, say, yeah, oh, yeah. Not really the actors. Not saying Idris. That's Idris is the man. Yeah, that's us. But. Do you I'm know just what saying I mean? there's more that we can all do together mm. to make sure that this can slow down. It's not going to stop. No, 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 no. It's it's not going to stop this whole money thing. Have to, money have to make, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's just slowing it down. Say, so listen, there's mm. other ways of getting dope. There's other ways of doing what you need to do. Mm. Like, go into the boxing ring, go and, have, go and scrap it out. Mm. Whoever loses has got to pay some dope. Do you know what I mean? There's bare little things you can do, little events that we can do, and to make sure that man can. Allow the scrapping on the street, man. Even if one out of ten changes, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, you know, one so out of ten changes, that's a difference that we've made. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So, positive vibes, man, All, always, bro. You know what I mean? Big CC, thank you so much, man. You changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> nice chatting to you, bro. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.